Let's start off with some maths questions, constants. Uh, okay, so we're going to start with some curve sketching. Uh, so to start with, I'd like you to draw uh, from a range of minus 4 pi to 4 pi sine x. approaches x equals 0. Um, just talk me through what the function looks like. So at x equals 0, so very close to the origin, mm -hmm. it's basically a straight line. So as x goes to 0, sine x will go to x. OK, great. So now we're going to move on to something slightly more challenging. Uh, I'd like you to draw me y equals x to the power of sine x. Uh, from a range of 0 to 4 pi. Because x to the sine x. Mm. Okay. So close to 0, it would look like x to the x. Mm. Yep. So let's start thinking about what the value of that is as x tends to 0. Okay. So anything to the 0 would be 1. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But 0 times by anything is 0. Mm -hmm. So you need to see, see what happens very close to zero, but not actually at zero. Mm. Yep. So if we take a small number to the power of a really small number, you'd expect that also to be... Now what's the, what's the first thing you'd like to do with that? Expand it out. Or take? Oh, like which oh, bit is? Yeah. That's right. X equals natural log of y. That would be x times by x because you can bring it down. So x squared equals log of y. Okay, Paul. So, so if you have a look here, yeah, let's go back to this one. Take the log of that side, so you've got log y. Yeah, it's x log y. Yeah. That's it. Fantastic. Okay. Great. Okay, so let's choose some really small numbers. Easy small numbers. Make it log to the base 10 because that's going to make our maths easier. It doesn't matter if it's log lin or log. So make it log base 10 and then it's easier to work with. Yeah. So now you can try values, uh, for example, think about yeah. 1 over 1,000 or something. Yeah, 1 over 100, that's fine. Yeah, there you go. Um, so then log that would be minus 3. Yep. Yeah. So it'd be minus 0 point not not 3. So I would be 10 to minus 0 point not not 3. And 10 to a very small number is? 1. Yeah. Approximately equal to one. Yeah, excellent. So that's the first point. Yes, excellent. X for sine x. Also, be simple to do to the one and to the minus one. So mm -hmm. to the one, it would just be x. To the minus one, would be one over x. So basically, if you look back to this graph here, what you've done is you've recognised that you've got one, one there, minus yeah. one, minus there. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. If we were, you know, engineers are lazy. Okay, so what we try and do is we try and be smart in the way we approach things. Okay, so what we can say is just to look at the top here, what graph would that be on? That would be on the line y equals x. Yeah, and this one, these ones? Y equals 1 over x. Okay, so if you were to be really quick and dirty, what would you do to help you do that? Yeah. So if we sketch that, what's it gonna more or less look like? Doesn't have to be a work of art, but approximately. Um so it starts at one. Starts at one. Yeah. And then it goes up first. Yeah. So yeah. there we go. Right. Like that? Yep. So we've only looked at positive x. Yeah. Um I don't need to try and draw anything for negative, but can you think about what might happen? 
So for negative values of x, sine's an odd function, so you would have to the minus powers when you have to the positive powers, um, and x would go negative. Do you want to think about what's going to happen at minus pi to 6? So, so write it down, so y is equal to? y is equal to for... So pi over 6 to the... Pi over 6 to the minus... Minus or half. To the minus half, yeah. And is it positive or negative um, pi over 6? Yeah. Negative, because we've got yes. the left. Yeah. So I have the root of... Root of a... Minus ne number. Yes. So then you're looking at complex roots. Right. Can we draw it? Not on this diagram. Correct. Not on this graph. Okay. So the really weird thing with this one is that we can draw it for points, but not for in between. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you.